If you also want to host your website like I did, then watch this video till end. This is completely free. There is a couple of options for hosting your websites, but we are looking to host our website for free. Then Python Anywhere is a good place for that. Deploying a Django project on Python Anywhere is a lot like running a Django project on your own PC. Here I have this simple Django web app which I am going to host here on Python Anywhere. Before we begin, we need to create an account. We can create an account by clicking this button, create a beginner account. You need to fill this form to create an account. Create a username. Provide your email address. Create a strong password. Confirm that password. Check this box and click here to register. After we create an account, we need to import our project here on Python Anywhere. To import or upload our project on Python Anywhere, we have two options. First one, we can upload it directly from GitHub if your project is already on GitHub. Open your project on GitHub which you want to upload. Copy its HTTPS and go back to uh, Python Anywhere dashboard. You can see this new console here. Under new console, you have Bash and Python console. So in order to upload your project from GitHub, we need Bash console. So open this Bash. Now to clone your project, you need to type git clone and paste that link which we copied earlier and hit enter. Uh, this command will make a copy of your project and place it at a given directory. To see that directory, you can type pwd and hit enter. Sorry, home slash june123 is the directory. If you type ls command, you will see your project here. Another option to upload your project on Python anywhere is to compress your project folder on your own PC and upload it. To compress your project, uh, first select the folder you want to compress and right click on that selected folder. In the drop down menu, choose send to and then click compressed zip folder. A new zip file will be created. Now go back to Python Anywhere page. Open the file page in a new tab. Here you need to upload that zip file which you created earlier. Click on upload a file button and locate that zip file you have created. You will see your zip file here after you uploaded it. Now you have to unzip this file. So go back to Bash console. If you type ls, it will list out all the files and directories in that directory. And you will also see your zip file there. Now you have to unzip this file. So type unzip and the name of that zip file. In my case, django tutorial.zip and hit enter. Oh, sorry. So go back to file page and refresh this page here you will see your project folder which is now unzipped after you upload your django project to python anywhere now you need to create a virtual environment to create a virtual environment go back to bash console and type this command Here you have to specify which version of Python you are going to use. For that, open the console page. You can see different version of Python, but you have to choose one which you use during the development time of your project. I have used Python 3.9, but it's not available here right now. So I am going to use 3.8. Go back to Bash console. Type the version you are going to use. I am going to use 3.8 yes and choose a name for your virtual environment I am going to name it uh, my site virtual environment you can give any name you want and hit enter to 
will take some time to create virtual environment. If you see your virtual environment name here like this, then you have created a virtual environment successfully. Now we have to install Django in this virtual environment. You can install it by typing. After the success installation of Django, go to the web page section. Here you need to click on add a new web app. Click on next. Now here you have to select manual configuration. Even though your project uh, framework is uh, Django, just click on manual configuration uh, so that we can change some uh, configuration file. Select the same version of Python which you used before, Python 3.8 in my case, and click on next. Scroll down a little bit and search for virtual environment. Uh, here you have to provide a path of your virtual environment folder. To get a path, um, go back to file page and click on this uh, dot virtual environment directory. Inside this, you will find your virtual environment folder. Open this folder. Now copy this path and paste and paste uh, here. And check this mark. Now we have to do some change on WSGI configuration file. So click on this link. Here you have to remove all these codes except except this uh, Django part so remove everything except that and uncomment these codes now you have to change uh, this path here you have to provide the path of your Django project top folder the folder that contains manage.py in my case, if I go to the file page, I have this uh, top folder of my project named my site. Inside this folder, uh, there is manage.py file here. So I need to provide this path to the path variable of WSGI configuration file. So you need to copy this path and paste it here. Next, you have to put the correct value for uh, Django settings module. Sorry, I have forget to uncomment uh, this code and also this one. Here, give the name of that folder that contains um, setting.py file. In my case, if I go to the file page and inside this uh, my site folder, uh, there is settings.py files. So, I have to uh, give this name here my site dot settings now here you have to give the name of that folder that contains setting dot py files beside this we don't need to change anything here we can uh, save these changes by clicking on this save button now we have to collect all the statics file of our project into a single directory so that we can sort them easily to do that we need to first uh, add uh, static root in setting dot py file so open your setting dot py file and add static root just dot path dot when base dir comma static also make sure that you have included a django dot contrib dot statics file in your install app scroll up a little bit there you will find allowed host inside the bracket uh, put asterisk here debug is called to true later we will make it false for now let it be true i think we have done all the changes we need to oh yeah one important thing it's about database if you had used the same default database which django provided us that is sqlite 3 then we don't need to change anything here but if you had used other than SQLite 3, then you have to make some changes on here and also you have to create a database here on Python Anywhere. 
and uh, link it with your project I am not going to discuss uh, this part in this single video I need to make a separate video for that when I will make this video I will put the link in the description below so don't forget to check it another thing in templates we have this DIRS or directory list is empty by default here you have to provide the path of your templates folder but Django knows where to find this templates folder automatically so we don't have to provide anything here but if you like then you can provide the path uh, you can provide you can provide the path like this os dot path dot join s underscore dir comma and the name of your templates folder you can also provide the path in another way like this locate your uh, templates folder and uh, copy its path then paste it here like this now we have done everything we need to do in settings.py save these changes and open your best console now we have to run this command python manage.py collect statics before you run this command make sure that you are in the right directory locate the folder that contains manage.py file after you locate manage.py file uh, you can run this command name error oh i forget to import uh, os in settings.py file so you have to import OS here and don't forget to click on this save button and if we run this command again again here it gives me an error no module name tinymc I get this error because I haven't installed tinymc in this environment or say in this cloud PC but I have installed it in my own PC so the point is that whatever module you had used in your project and installed in your own PC you have to install it here also in my case I am going to install all the requirements module which I need for my project here After I have installed all the requirements model for my project, now I will run this command again python manage.py collect. Python manage.py collect statics run successfully. Now go back to web page section. Scroll down a little bit and search for a statics file we have to provide the directory of our statics file and also the URL uh, URL our URL is simple just type statics we get this slash statics slash uh, URL from here from settings.py from this section and now we have to provide the directory of our statics file to get a directory uh, go to the file page and search for statics here and copy its uh, direct uh, copy its path and paste it here and reload now go back to your bash console now we have to do uh, make migration and then migrate first first make migration and now uh, do migrate In order to host your website, you have to run this command python manage.py collect statics, python manage.py make migrations, python manage.py migrate without any errors. Now the final step is to go to the web page section and click on reload. After that, click here 
uh, to open your website uh, you can access your website through this URL link now we have successfully host our website on Python anywhere here we get this uh, insecure sign because of HTTP protocol used uh, we can make our website secure by changing to HTTPS protocol go back to web page scroll down there you will find a security section uh, inside the security section uh, we have this uh, force HTTPS disable which we have to enable it click here and enable it and once you have enabled it uh, again click on this reload and if you go back to our web page and refresh this page now you can see that uh, this website is secure now the last thing uh, we have to do is uh, go back to the setting.py and we have to make the um, debug is called to false and click on save button go back to your web app setup page and once again click on reload and if you click on this link you will have your website everything is running perfectly i hope you are also able to host your website without any error if you have any question please feel free to ask me in the comment below i will try to help you as much as i can so if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and support me by subscribing to this channel and as always thanks for watching